Welcome in. <laughs> to me, I feel like music is subjective, like it always is. Like if you say that you make music, then you make music. So by that, I guess law, <laughs> I am a musician. My name is Angela, I also go by Lala. Um, I'm 23 years old, I use play she pronouns, and I am a registered nurse and also an aspiring musician. Being like Filipino, you would always have parties with like karaoke and all that stuff, so it'd literally just be me and my family in one big room just singing our hearts out literally for hours on end while everyone got drunk, you know? <laughs> Going into high school, um, I realized, oh, I want to do covers of songs, and I would literally sit in my bathtub, play my ukulele, and record on my iPad garage band. <laughs> um, and all of them were like one take, and I was just like, okay, this is good. In high school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I was kind of all over the place with I guess what my occupation was going to be. Um, I knew from like a very early age, I just wanted to help people. A lot of my family was in and out of the hospital when I was younger. And um, sometimes we would just see them kind of getting mistreated by like the healthcare staff. And I'm like, this isn't right. My grandma was in and out of the hospital. She had a lot of health issues going on. We thought that having these like round the clock nurses would be helpful for her, but at times they would have just like neglected her and eventually she had passed um, under like hospice care. And it was just all so sudden and we didn't realize like the weight of neglect that she was facing within the nursing home. One of my uncles, he had like Down syndrome and he ended up getting just a severe infection from having like pressure injuries and pressure ulcers that, you know, he ended up at the hospital. It was like, you know, how did it get this bad? This isn't just the result of it happening over a day. This was like consistent neglect and we lost him at like 48, but I know he's up there rocking with my grandma, too. <laughs> During college, nursing school was so hard, <laughs> to say the very least. There were multiple times where I just wanted to drop out and just get over it because it was so incredibly hard. Many times I cried. <laughs> but I think music was like that outlet for me to literally just let go of all of my feelings and I didn't have access to therapy at the time so music would be the therapy and I would just be talking about my feelings. Released Dizzy, I think it was sophomore year? No, maybe junior year of college. It was like during a time where it was kind of like a situationship. And <laughs> I was just like, dude, we're going back and forth. It's like making me dizzy. Tonight, you really make the day dream come alive, dizzy like took off. And I, eventually I had people reach out and be like, oh, we want to do a house show. Can you perform? And it was literally in the garage of someone's like two story apartment. I'm pretty sure I was like shaking the entire set. But the crowd was so large in such a tiny, tiny garage and there were people singing along to Dizzy. Then I almost started crying. <laughs> I had like a couple of more shows lined up after that, but then the pandemic mm. ruined that. <laughs> mm. But I do want to get back into it. Just need to make more music. My family is super supportive of my music. It's so sweet. When my songs first came out, my whole family would just be listening to it on repeat just so that I could get the stream and the revenue. <laughs> when I was younger, we were 
kind of like lower class um but they just kept consistently working like all the time they really struggled for a while trying to just um stay afloat for my two siblings um but as i grew up you know they got like secure jobs and just really seeing how much like they were able to build up like inspires me too and it's like i want to do that for them good morning what's up Duncan? my dad is always telling me like you know, like you always need to keep learning you know like you're never too old to like learn something even if it's just for like 10 minutes a day i don't know they they inspire me a lot to keep wanting more for myself Sitting out to the